been wanting to make this video for a few days now and uh, what I want to talk about is the fact uh, I'm gonna call this why yeah why why anything well why and before I go on about anything in Fukushima 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 is all there is that's it it's all there is this is this is without doubt as I've said the only the only purpose to get up is to alert people to the fact that we need to do something about this catastrophe called Fukushima which is in meltdown which is destroying the planet as Helen Caldecott has just recently been uh, uh, she has uh, I saw uh, Miss Milky the clown uh, video of Helen Caldecott saying that the planet is in intensive care we as beings on the planet are also in intensive care and the intensive care now this is what I wanted to say about art my field of interest is art I am a painter I make paintings I'm an artist and my interest in this field what I'm gonna say now is and interestingly I had a conversation with Kevin Blanche about this as well uh, yesterday and uh, uh, he basically concurs with me on this in fact he is uh, a little bit more on the DEFCON scale if I'm on DEFCON 2 he's on DEFCON 1 in regard to culture art not having lived up to its mandate whatever that mandate is among artists to raise our level of consciousness to the point where something actually makes a difference that people look at something and say you know this is so magnificent I'm gonna have to change the way I see the world how I look at the world how I act in the world and what I'm talking about is the fact that for most of history as I've said culture is not our friend and in the background what you see are and what you've uh, I've panned through for you uh, the uh, the charcoal paintings and the charcoal paintings are interesting for me because the charcoals represent uh, a kind of uh, raw uh, 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 an elimination of all peripheral material everything uh, that is uh, superfluous has been removed when you deal whether when a painter deals with black and white all peripheral material has been removed and you're with the essence of something and it go, goes back to the other series of paintings I did that the residue of residues or essence of essences based on the Song of Song anyway the charcoals you see behind me and uh, I'm gonna pan through with if I haven't already done this uh, these charcoals represent from my point of view how culture has failed us how art has failed us specifically and I'm going to talk about my colleagues people my extended family that has let us down because there is no point in producing any kind of artwork that doesn't get to the most essential elements of our being and the essential elements of our being meaning <laughs> survival survival is absolutely crucial we always uh, indulge the idea that we're so affluent we can indulge these uh, these escapades into uh, self gratification. We can indulge ourselves until we're past the, into the into a sense of oblivion. We can shop ourselves into oblivion. We can make art that is a decoration. I hate decoration. I dislike. I dis. I am dismayed at the idea of artists producing work to satisfy some meaningless snot-nosed oligarch uh, to enjoy this thing somebody has done because the colors are beautiful this or that that's not what I'm about and I'm talking about the fact that art has let us down and historically art historically if you look at the art that the cave man did it is integrally what, what we understand of what we have left on the walls of Lascaux or Altamira or the sculptures or the remnants in the past culture seems to have left us a message that there is an essence to our being that we need to recognize 
and be in touch with. Meaning, we will not survive. The artists remind, remind part of our being that we need to be in touch with an essence of ourselves in order to survive. Now, with this Fukushima, Fukushima, Fukushima disaster, Fukushima is my logo for this catastrophe. What I'm, what I'm saying is that all art needs to focus itself now on this incredibly epic challenge that we face. And this challenge began a long time ago, what I call the hijacking of our birthright by the oligarchs, starting with the Akhenatans, the holier-than-thou kings, better-than-thou, somebody is better than me. Well, they're not. No one is better than you or I. We are equal on this planet, attempting to live up to our potentials. And what is letting us down, we have been subverted. And I will give a few examples. I have always mentioned the fact that I enjoy Goya. I enjoy what a, what a... Goya is an essence of my being. I feel myself involved when I see Goya. I see myself involved in that human being, the way he produces art. And it's because he is an artist of protest. He is an artist that protests. He is an artist that does not accept his environment. His, he could have been very well off through the, uh, uh, he was a court painter. Uh, but in all of his work, there is this subversive element. Galileo, rejecting the idea that the uh, sun revolves around the earth. Galileo, being excommunicated, being thrown in jail. He was willing to go into jail. Artists of resistance. And this is what's been missing. And when I spoke with Blanche about this, I felt that 80% of all art ever produced that is in museums and exalted as being fabulous is of very little value. And aesthetics is a whole other discussion. And I've said this before, uh, Barnett Newman's phrase, aesthetics is to the artist as ornithology is to the birds. I find this to be extremely important and true. So what I'm saying, art has let us down. I do not want to follow in that tradition. I protest. And there have been many artists, actually. In the scheme of things, maybe my number is 80% is of no value. 20% has value. And you look at the, the, uh, the protest painting Picasso, his one great painting, and uh, most of the other stuff became very decorative. I would refer to uh, uh, the German expressionists like Otto Dix, uh, people that were, uh, even Munch, a very well-known uh, artist of Scandinavian origin. Artists of protests that have been peripheralized, although recognized to some extent, that's why I say 20% of them, are still within the system. And the art of protest needs to come back into the art. Not just vulgarities and insanities and indulgences. This work needs to be done and this is so important, and personally, I started with black and white, the charcoal paintings behind me, and uh, why have things not worked is because art has let us down. We're being let down right now because none of the artists that I have seen in the mainstream have come out to protest the inaction around Fukushima and the destruction of our planet, and there are many uh, many sort of uh, milk toast, as Kevin Blanche calls them, milk toast protesters. Well, the, the days are done for that. You have, to, you have to produce work of such power and substance to flatten people. Anybody that's still there with a brain, with eyes to see, with a heart to feel, you need to be flattened by something.